Good morning, everyone. So I'm not quite sure how the lighting is going to be on these for right now. Um, hopefully when we move, we'll have better sunlight coming in. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and get started. I'd like to do kind of a weekly outfits of the day. I don't know if I'll get every single day in, but uh, I'm going to try and uh, hopefully give you guys some inspiration. I know for me, um, watching other people's outfits of the day, I find it really inspiring and um, I don't always find other people that have the same kind of romantic style vibe that I like to wear. So when I do find someone, I'm super excited about it. So hopefully I can share that with you guys. If you have the same style, if you're interested in the same style, if it's something that you want to kind of transition into. And as always, we're in the mess in our room because we are uh, getting ready to move again out of our apartment. So, all right, today's outfit of the day, I have my favorite basil dress from Christy Dawn. I'm still trying to decide if I want to get this hemmed up. Um, I'm not sure. It's so comfy like this, but it is a little bit long. Okay, so I had um, a request to kind of do um, transition from summer into um, fall sort of outfit. So if you guys know this dress, you've seen me wear it a ton before, it kind of has these three quarter sort of length, really flowy sleeves. So I thought I'd kind of transition this one with, um, this is a really lightweight, if you can see a little better there, um, kind of cable knit sweater. You can almost, you can see through it. That's how thin it is. But it's 100% um, wool, so it really does keep you warm even though it's so thin. And when I saw this, it reminded me my grandmother always wore these type of sweaters. And this one's actually a bit longer, it maybe comes to about here. So I added um, this belt. And um, tip for you guys, this is actually a um, Dooney and Burke, I think I'm saying that right. Um, belt. It is leather and this is a solid brass buckle. That is something that I always look for because you know it'll last you for years and years to come. Um, one thing I love about Poshmark is people, at least that I've seen, are really good about listing the um, sizing, like the actual measurement. So you can measure your waist and see is it going to fit at your true waist. Do you want to fit more around your hips? Um, and just ask. Most people are really accommodating to um, share that with you. So I kind of cinched it at the waist, pulled this through, so you can sort of see the back, how it flows. It's just a super easy um, outfit. I'll be mostly at home today. I wear this for cleaning uh, and whatever I'm doing at home and also going out. So to me, it's a good transitional outfit. I can't wait. I did order some boots from a new company that I'm going to try. I pre-ordered them, they're taking a while, but I think this would look super cute with um, like a prairie boot or a hiking boot to, to add into it. So this is my Monday outfit of the day. I will see you guys tomorrow, bye. Good morning. It is Tuesday, uh, no, September something. <laughs> I don't remember, I think it's maybe the 29th. Um, I am going to show you another outfit of the day. So day, yesterday I had a dress on, today I thought I was going to go with jeans. So we'll start maybe from the bottom up. I have an old pair of Sperry's. Um, other than that, everything else I believe is second hand. So these are a pair of Madewell jeans. They are super comfy. Um, I have a pretty long torso, so I like to stick with um, high-rise jeans. They just work better for me. They're more comfortable and um, easier, I think, to tuck in blouses or to wear with blouses that um, don't tuck in so you're not like, sh worrying about showing midriff. Um, this blouse is from Poshmark. Now, I had some questions um, from the blouse that I had in the summer that was very Victorian short sleeves with a lot of ruffles, um, and that was also from Poshmark. But this brand is Walter Baker is the brand. Um, they seem to have a lot of very Victorian style blouses. So, um, one of the things that I do on my shop Poshmark is also once I start to get to know a brand a little bit, I start trying to shop that brand. So this one I've seen is kind of hit or miss, but 
I've had some good luck. So if you're looking for this style, so this is, you can see the detail, the cuff. It's very thin. This is 100% cotton. Got a little peplum here and some details over on the side. I just think this is such a gorgeous blouse. I love it. Um, hat, as usual, if you know me, I'm always throwing a hat on. Um, I, I hate doing my hair and it's just easy. And I think it kind of adds to an outfit. I'm not a big jewelry person, so adding the hat kind of adds a flair. So super simple Tuesday outfit of the day, comfortable, but adds some personality and um, a bit of my style to the outfit. I hope you enjoy. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It is Wednesday, September 30th. It's definitely starting to cool off here in Ohio. It's quite brisk out this morning, actually. Um, I thought I would show you another outfit of the day. We are staying home today. I'm going to be doing some um, kind of sorting through again before we're moving. And Dylan has his um, video calls for school. So today's outfit is pretty simple. I am wearing this Christy Dawn floral. I just love this. It's so pretty. It's a pretty boxy cut, but as you can see, it's pretty sheer cotton. Um, it has elastic cuffs. I um, bought this on Poshmark. Again, you know I get so much of my stuff from Poshmark. Um, I actually bought a Christy Dawn um, dress from a lovely lady and then she knew I loved Christy Dawn so she messaged me this when she was going to be posting it and asked me if I wanted first dibs before she did and I said yes, I would love to take it. I just, oh, these florals, so delicate, so pretty. Um, okay, and then repeat jeans from yesterday. I have on the same Madewell from Poshmark jeans. Super comfy. I am loving these. You're probably going to see them a ton. And then for today's shoes, I have these super cute pink suede with a little bow. Oh, I just, I cannot get enough of these shoes. I love them so much. I actually had them when I worked um, in an office, but they're so comfortable. They're pretty easy to wear every day. Um, if I don't wear these, I'm back, I got cut off for the phone call. So if I don't wear these, um, loafers with it, I would probably pair it with my white Sperry's or something like that. So this is today's outfit of the day. Just super comfy, super easy. Um, yeah. Not too much to it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. So it is freezing today. So then I'll show you how my outfit is morphing as the day goes along. So I really love the way the purple in this picks up with the purple in the blouse. I just think it's so pretty. And I forgot to show you earlier these buttons. Oh, so, so pretty. Um, so yeah, I just threw on this is another Poshmark um, fine. Bear with me. <laughs> I'm gonna get better with the camera. I swear. Alright, and I already switched to these because I my feet were getting cold, even though I love the other shoes so much. Maybe if we do go out anywhere, I'll switch to those. Um, so yeah, it's the outfit as the day is going along. Alright, I'm back. I am going to get better at remembering what to say when I'm doing a video. But one other thing that I wanted to tell you about this outfit is when you are um, looking for... Uh, like changing your outfit, your style, if you're kind of going for that um, vintage vibe um, like I appreciate, one of the things that really drew me to this sweater was the buttons. So if you look closely, let's see if we can get in here. These are original leather buttons on here. Now buttons are very expensive. Um, to change out so I find that if you can find an outfit especially um, something more vintage that has the original buttons and they are something like leather or um, brass or something that looks like a really good quality it makes all the difference and then again like this blouse has like a pearlized button to it and even though that is plastic it just looks different than a plain old 
plastic cheap button. So another tip, look at the buttons before you purchase an item. Good morning, friends. It is Thursday, October 1st. It feels like officially fall when it turns October. I don't know. Of course, it's gloomy and dark and the lighting is off, but we're just going to go with it today. So um, today is a go to school day. Um, so it was school drop off and I thought I would show you my super quick throw on and head out the door and transitional outfit. So this is actually the Christy Dawn um, Lincoln dress underneath here. It's spaghetti straps and hello Stormy. Um, it's really light and the perfect super cool summer dress. But today it is, I believe it was 50 when we went to school. Um, so pretty cool. And there's Stormy again. Hi Stormy. Um, <laughs> she, whenever she hears talking, she wants to come and be a part of it. So we will just let you say hi. Okay, back to the outfit. So, um, this is a super light, as you can see, very sheer, um, kind of summery dress. I, I kind of been eyeing up this dress before, and then I saw it in this beautiful lavender color and just couldn't resist. So anyways, um, because it's cool and I want to kind of stretch my spring summer outfits for as long as I can. I threw on this super old um, jean jacket that I have had for years. My mom-in-law bought this for me because she's amazing. Um, it's Jessica Simpson, super stretchy. I love um, the way that the collar hits when I kind of pop the collar. Um, and it's just super easy to throw on. I use it all the time. Um, hat. As always because my hair is a mess underneath and we are headed to school so no time for fixing the hair um, also on my feet these have kind of turned into like my go-to shoe um, they're pretty thick on the bottom which I like kind of gives you a little lift like a heel would um, obviously without being a heel I am 5'4 for anyone that is wondering um, but I just throw these on in the morning they kind of go with everything and um yeah here is my super simple sorry for the dark lighting today um run to school drop off sort of outfit if uh i end up changing today throughout the day i will um show you guys what i end up putting on um so yeah there you go see you later Good morning. It is Friday. We've almost made it through another week. I thought I would show you the final outfit of the day. So uh, let's get right into it. So this is a hat from Target that I just grabbed. Um, it is a um, adjustable hat. So if you're newer to hats and trying to figure out how you want it to fit, this is an awesome one. It's got like a Velcro sort of detail on the inside that you can change um, how you want it to fit you. Uh, okay, this is a thread up find. I had to think about it for a second. It is um, free people, super comfy and kind of like a good transition piece when the weather is just starting to change and you want kind of something on your arms but not too hot like a sweater. I have a loft cami underneath. Um, these are Everlane jeans from... Um, Poshmark. <laughs> I think I need a second cup of coffee today. These are from Poshmark. Um, they're a size up from my normal size and they were fitting good but now I feel like they're kind of getting really saggy especially in the butt. Um, so maybe I'll give them a wash and see if they shrink back up a little bit but sometimes it's just nice to have on a pair of comfy jeans. Um, I love their high-rise fit. I have a pretty long torso and their high-rise work well for me. I have on my Sperry's. You can see over here, there is laundry to put away today. Um, yeah, Sperry's, super comfy, getting ready to head to school to drop off. There is my Friday um, outfit of the day. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Good morning. So we've got everybody here. You can't see Stormy, but she's hanging out in the chair to the side with us. Um, I just wanted to kind of do a quick ending to the video and let you guys know um, my intent with these videos 
is to hopefully inspire you, oh, here she comes, inspire you to use what you already have, um, find ways to shop your own closet, and possibly give you some tips, hopefully, to better uh, learn how to shop secondhand, um, because I do enjoy um, shopping secondhand myself and repurposing things that are already out there in the world. And I do believe that you can get a lot of times better quality um, buying secondhand than buying something new that's cheaper and might be the same price. So hopefully, I find these videos to be really inspiring. That's why I wanted to do them to hopefully inspire you guys. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see in them, let me know any um, tips or ideas of what I could do better, what you guys want to see. That's what I want to make and help you guys um, the same way that these videos have helped me find my style. Um, hopefully you appreciate all the kitty love that we've got going on in these and I will hopefully see you guys next week with a another <laughs> um, what I wore for the week video. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. Don't forget to follow me and Stormy over on the blog at www.probablyatthelibrary. You can also catch us on Instagram and on Facebook where we have our book club, um, the Probably at the Library Book Club, which I would love to have you join also. Alrighty, we will catch you guys later. Bye!